draw the isometric view of a cylinder of 50 mm diameter and 60 mm height resting on HP on its base. So here this is a problem involving isometric view. So we don't require to draw the isometric scale here because we need not account the length reduction. So here I have drawn a simple top view and a simple front view as per the requirement of the question. As the cylinder is resting on HP on its base, the simple top view will be a circle and the simple front view will be a rectangle. So, so far we have not learned the isometric view of a cylinder. So what we are going to do now is we will be enclosing this cylinder inside another known isometric drawing or isometric solid. So we know to draw the isometric of a cube, we know to draw the isometric of a rectangular prism. So likewise what we are going to do now is we will be enclosing this cylinder inside a square prism. Okay. As this is a cylinder, uh, this is a cylinder, and as this is a circle, we will be able to enclose this inside a square prism. So I shall draw this outline of the square prism in the top view. In the front view, we are unable to draw the outline of the square prism because the front view itself is a square. So I shall enclose this top view inside a square prism. So we shall name it as 1, 2, 3, 4 along the top face and 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1 along the bottom face. Here this front face, here this front point that is visible will be 1. So this is 1 dash and this point will be 4 dash. So 4 dash. And along the base it is 4, 1 and 1, 1. So 4, 1 dash and 1, 1 dash. On the rear side it is 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1. So along on the top it is 2 dash invisible. Here 3 dash is also invisible. And along the base it is 3, 1 dash and 2, 1 dash. So we have enclosed this cylinder inside a square prism. Now we shall draw the isometric of the square prism onto the right hand side. So here I am going to take point 1 1 as the origin. That is why I have marked this x y z direction in the left side. So as it is a square to the right hand side and left hand side we will be having the same distance which is 50 mm each. We shall take point 1 1 as the origin. We shall take 30 degrees to the left and 30 degrees to the right and mark points 4, 1 and 2, 1 along the base. Along the x direction, x direction it is 4, 1 and along the y direction it is 2, 1 along the base and this point which is 3, 1. And along the height direction we are having 60 mm height. So we shall take vertical height of 60 mm from each of these points. Please remember that as it is a square, the line passing through the point 1, 1 and 3, 1, this will be a single line.
so these points which are along the top it will be respectively equal to 1 2 3 and 4 so above 1 it is 1 1 it is 1 so likewise 2 3 and 4 so join it using thin lines Now we shall mark points A, B, C, D, A1, B1, C1 and D1 which are along the centers of these edges 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1 etc. So along each of these centers we shall mark, we shall cut an arc and we shall mark the respective points A, B, C, D, A1, B1, C1 and D1. Now we shall draw two axis of symmetries connecting A, C, B, D and A1, C1, B1, D1. So totally four axis of symmetries using chain lines. So these meeting points are respectively O and O1. Connecting O and O1 we shall draw another chain line also which represent the axis. Now we shall use four center method in order to construct the isometric of these two circular laminas. One circular lamina is on the top surface so this is the top surface and one circular lamina is along the bottom surface which is 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1 using 4 center method. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 is a top isometric plane. So everything on the top isometric plane will be completely visible. So we shall draw the isometric of the circular lamina completely here using thick lines. Now along the base, when you are going to draw the isometric of this circular lamina, it won't be completely visible because this is a base plane. So along the base plane, the isometric of the circular lamina, it won't be completely visible. It will be visible only up to some extent. So in order to find out up to which point it is invisible, we shall draw a straight line connecting 2, 1 and 4, 1. So draw a straight line connecting, a thin line connecting 2, 1 and 4, 1. So everything that is behind this 2141, this 2141 it will be invisible and everything that is in front of this 2141 it will be visible. So behind this 2141 the isometric will be invisible, the circular lamina's isometric will be invisible and in front of this 2141 the isometric of the circular lamina will be visible. So here we shall below to behind 2141 we have to draw it use using dashed thick lines and in front of 2141 we have to use it you draw it using continuous thick lines
Now we shall connect this isometric and this isometric circular lamina using a tangential line. So this is actually a generator. So these two are thick lines. Now we shall do the dimensioning process. So what you have to take care in this isometric construction is half of this base circle it will be invisible and you have to do, join this circle and this circle using tangential lines. 